And to be honest with you, you know, London was a, a very, very, very fucking dark place back in the early 90s. It started getting very dark down there in uh, many, many different ways. So, yeah, they up camp and moved out, moved out and bought a hotel up in um, New Hampton in West Sussex. So, yeah, I've only just come up here now, but I've, I'll still go backwards and forwards to London. I've still got all my family down there. But to be honest with you, I don't even like visiting down there now. It's completely and utterly changed my life. When you get when you get like the old style people moving out into the sticks because London's getting too too hardcore, then you know it's really fucked. <laughs> you know it's time to, you know, exactly, mate. We've got no yardy, yardy style people that are moving out into the country because it's too hectic in in London. So what's that <laughs> Fucking hell, yeah, it's completely. I mean. Is it the new generation what's coming up now? And like, because we're old school, we've got to let the new ones like buy. Do you know what I mean? It's their turn now, now not our turn. So is it time? Well, I, I hate to say this, and people are going to have a big dig at me, but I believe it's due to the massive influx of illegal migrants and different cultures clashing with different kind of crime scenes. Uh, yeah, yeah. crime ethics behind them and there's massive fights but you've got Albanians now that they, they don't care they'll, they'll they'll deliver gear right to your doorstep they don't oh, care fuck. they're getting fucking hell yeah I mean out in their country you know what it's like there's people you know there's so many shootings in the, the violence out in them countries are on a different scale so when they come to the UK this is like kindergarten to them bruv Oh yeah, it is. That's that's the that's the problem. We we haven't. Our government has failed to protect the citizens and keep them safe. The nationals, whereas in Thailand they put their own people first. And if you yeah. misbehave as a foreigner, they kick you out. If you yeah, respect yeah. the place, they treat you well. If you disrespect it, you're gone. Yeah, I've, I've seen a few cases out in Thailand where like drug dealers get big lumps of bird out there. They hate drug dealers, don't they? Well. Yeah, but I, I, I can't talk too much about the politics out here being out here. But um, they just yeah, legalised no. marijuana. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so there's a few details to it, but the people. I think if you got caught serving up some meth, meth is the one I don't like. Methamphetamines. Yeah, right. Probably yeah, the yeah. first, the first offence if you're serving up, you'd probably get four years. If you kept, if you got caught with a kilo and you got quite a few cases behind you, you might get life. And if, if you if you admit to it, if you if you don't admit to it, you get the death penalty. But they haven't given a death penalty out for a, a long time. It, it's yeah. a system like America. Once you once the police pick up your case, it's very very difficult. Once the once, once the courts picked up your case, it's very very difficult to get out of it because yeah. uh, you could sue you could sue the police if you're found guilty. So you can't be found. Sorry, you're found innocent. So you can't be found not 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 innocent. Otherwise, you could sue the bleed. But I mean, even when these uh, these convicted like fucking, you know, mass murderers get um, the death penalty, they they they're left on death row for fucking decades and decades. Oh, that's interesting. Because uh, murder is actually less of a crime than drug dealing. You you could get death penalty if you admit to it. You get life, but then you'll get reduced to about fifteen years with amnesties. Yeah, some of the laws are, are lenient than others. I mean, we've probably got fucking more stricter laws in the UK right now, bro. Yeah, I think you that. have. I think you have. The thing is, that there's a lot of laws out here, but they're not really enforced strictly. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm in the sort of place where nothing's a problem until it's a problem. For example, hardly anybody wears a motorbike helmet. It's a law to wear one. So what they do is I set up a checkpoint once a week and then arrest everyone without a helmet, make them pay like a tenner and then let them drive off without a helmet. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. So, like, it's, there's more, um, how can I say it? It's the community, it's more of a community spirit thing around there. Um, like, it's, um, it's, a, it's a much slower pace of life and it's a very, very disorganised, because in England, everything's organised. You know, you're driving, if you're in the wrong lane, someone's going to beat the horn and stick their fingers up at you. Yeah, Over yeah, here, yeah. it's almost not normal to be riding the wrong way round down the dual down the dual carriageway on yeah. a, in a in a pickup truck. <laughs> it, it, it's a much more better way of life out there. I can see why he moved out there. Actually, I've got quite a few of my cousins. I've got quite a big family, and quite a few of my cousins actually go out to Thailand like a few times a year and party out there. And um, I haven't been out there, but they keep inviting me out there. 
I want to come out. One of the places, few countries where you, where I didn't want to go home after um, visiting for two weeks and not staying for five first time. And I know where I came to Thailand, do- dodgy Dave. Yeah. It wasn't because I was on the run for killing two queers. Sorry, gays. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Be a bit careful what you say there, mate. <laughs> When I mean queers, I mean people that that, that were um, not normal. Uh, I, can't, I don't know. I can't go and dig in a hole, man. Um, do, you know what, do you know what, Jimmy? I'm, I'm brought up with the same um, old-fashioned values as you. Um, Adam and Eve, do you know what I mean? It wasn't Adam and Steve. So I'm brought up with them mm. values too. Um, but, you know, years and years ago, I don't I don't, really, don't even want to really put this on here, but years ago, uh, we used to go out targeting uh, um, them people and um, yeah, abusing them and, and attacking them um, for fun when we were kids. Yeah, uh, of course you do. That's what like, we used you know, to do. Well, if you're, if you're at school, we've turned out somebody at school was a bit of a batty boy, then they were getting ruined. Then. Oh, I'm, I'm not, not, I mean, like, they were, they were going to get harassed every day. <laughs> I mean, bullying in, the kids can be very, very evil. In yeah, fact, I'm, I'm actually more worried about kids on the estates than the adults because they got no fear in them, no. and um, and they can be used by the olders to do um, do naughty shit. And plus, they yeah. don't have to go. Don't go to prison, do they? I mean, when I was younger, they didn't have ballstool. I was quite lucky. Let's give my yeah, age away I mean, a little bit. This is why fucking it's so important nowadays to try and protect the youngsters and like try and deter them from fucking following our footsteps because. Nowadays, like prison nowadays, from back in the day, like the last time I was in jail was 2010, and I just see it starting to change. Then um, I actually got I actually got attacked by a fucking a kid like.